Hello friends, welcome to ACE Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss effect of input type and magnitude on steady state error. That is static error coefficient methods. Consider a system having open loop transfer function GFS into HFS. In this we are going to consider three signals step, ramp and parabolic signal. Let us see first reference input in step of magnitude A you can see the step response which is considered here as a desired output signal and you can see the output after passing through a transient period it reaches to a steady state response and steady state error is the difference between desired output and actual output which is given by ESS is equivalent to A divided by 1 plus KP. We know that steady state error ESS is equal to limit S tends to 0 s into e of s where e of s is equal to r of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s by substituting this e of s value in the above equation we will get ess is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into r of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s for step input r of s is equal to a divided by s by substituting this R of S value in the above equation, we will get ESS is equal to limit S tends to 0, S into R of S value A divided by S and divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. By cancelling this S and this S, we will get ESS is equal to limit S tends to 0, A divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. Further, you can see in this term, there is no S by considering that we are going to write the above equation ESS is equal to A divided by 1 plus limit S tends to 0 G of S into H of S. In this we don't know the value of the G of S looking into that we are considering this whole term as a constant and represented by K P. For a system selected limit S tends to 0 limit S tends to 0 G of S into H of S is constant and called positional error coefficient of the system denoted as KP. So this whole term we are considering as a positional error coefficient and denoted by KP where you can see that KP is equivalent to limit S tends to 0 G of S into H of S. By substituting this in the above equation we will get ESS is equivalent to A divided by 1 plus KP. Whenever step input is selected as reference input, positional error quotient KP will control the error of this system along with the magnitude of the signal applied. Let us see the second signal. Second signal we have considered reference input in ramp of magnitude A. The ramp response is this which is considered here as a desired output and you can see that a signal passing through a transient period and then reaches to a steady state which is considered as an actual output. This is the desired output and the difference of this desired output and actual output is considered as a steady state error which is given by A divided by KV. We know that steady state error ESS is equivalent to limit S tends to 0 S into E of S. Looking into that E of S is equivalent to R of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. By substituting this E of S value in the above equation, we will get ESS is equivalent to limit S, in S tends to 0, S into R of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. For ramp input, R of S is equivalent to A divided by S to the power 2. By substituting this R of S value in the above equation, we will get ESS is equal to limit S tends to 0, S into R of S value is A divided by S to the power 2 divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. In this power 2 and S get cancelled and then we will get equation ESS is equal to limit S tends to 0, A divided by S into 1 plus G of S into H of S. Next further. ESS is equivalent to limit S tends to 0 A divided by S plus S into G of S into H of S 
by considering the limit extends to 0 we will get ESS is equivalent to A divided by limit extends to 0 S into G of S into H of S. This again we don't know the value of G of S looking into that this whole thing is considered as a constant and represented by KV. You can see that KV is equivalent to limit extends to 0 S into G of S into H of S. For a selected system, limit extends to 0, S into G of S into H of S is constant and called velocity error coefficient of the system denoted as KV. This we have substituted in the above equation and we got ESS is equivalent to A divided by KV. Therefore, whenever ramp input is selected as reference input, velocity error coefficient will control the error in system along with the magnitude of input applied. Let us see the third signal. In this third reference signal is reference input in parabolic of magnitude A where you can see that parabolic response is considered as a desired output and the output initially passes through the transient period and then reaches to steady state will get the steady state error the difference between desired output and actual output is ESS is equivalent to A divided by KA. We know that steady state error ESS is equal to limit S tends to 0 S into E of S where E of S is equal to R of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S by substituting E of S value in the above equation we will get ESS is equivalent to limit S tends to 0 S into R of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. For parabolic input R of S is equal to A divided by S to the power 3 by considering this R of S value in the above equation we will get ESS is equal to limit S tends to 0 S into R of S value is A divided by S to the power 3 by cancelling this power with this S further we will get ESS is equal to limit S tends to 0 A divided by S to the power 2 into 1 plus G of S into H of S. So, you can see further the equation ESS is equal to limit S tends to 0 A divided by S to the power 2 plus S to the power 2 into G of S into H of S. By considering the limits S tends to 0, we will get ESS is equal to A divided by limit S tends to 0 S to the power 2 G of S into H of S. In this we do not have the value of G of S. Looking into that, we will consider this whole term as a constant. For a selected system, limit S tends to 0, S to the power 2 G of S into H of S is constant and called acceleration error coefficient of system denoted as Ka. You can see that this whole term which we have considered as a constant is considered as acceleration error coefficient Ka is equivalent to limit S tends to 0, S to the power 2 into G of S into H of S. By substituting this in the above equation, we will get ESS is equal to A divided by KA. Whenever parabolic input is selected as reference input, acceleration error quotient will control the error in the system along with the magnitude of input applied. In any problem, to calculate the static error quotients, then we need to remember these formulas where KP is positional error constant and KV is velocity error coefficient and k is the acceleration error coefficient positional error coefficient velocity error coefficient acceleration error coefficient so these are the formulas to be remembered to solve further any problems steady state error with respect to positional error constant ess is equal to A divided by 1 plus KP, ESS is equal to A divided by KV, ESS is equal to A divided by KA. These are the formulas are important which is to be remembered to solve further problems. In the next video, we will discuss effect of change in G of S into H of S on steady state error that is effect of type of a system on a steady state error. Hope you understood this video. For more such videos, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.